This video is in response to a viewer question regarding saving files in VBA and Excel. The question was, is it possible to save to multiple subfolder locations based on a path in a single cell? Well, it is possible. You would need to set up your worksheet in a particular way to make this work. You would either need a drop-down list in that cell that contains the different path values for those different folders or a lookup formula in that cell that is linked to a value that pulls from a table of those paths. So. I have tried my best to recreate this scenario. I have a main folder called Daily Sales, and it has four subfolders, one for four different divisions, east, north, south, and west. And on our main macro workbook, we have a sheet that contains sales figures that are linked to this drop-down list for each of these four divisions you can see the sales figures update based on whichever division is selected and what we would need to do is based on this drop down list look up the respective division paths on this lookup table to pull into this single cell here so I'm just gonna insert a simple VLOOKUP my lookup value is the division from this drop-down list. I want to look up this range here and pull back the second column. And currently it's the division is set to south, so it pulls in the path to the south folder. If I change it to east, you can see the path changes to the east folder. So what we want to do is make a copy of this sheet based on whichever division is selected and then save it to the path in this single cell here and store this path in a variable in our code. So the first thing we want to do is go into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We'll call this subroutine multi-paths and begin by declaring some variables. The first variable is going to be called workbook1. It's going to be as the data type workbook and it's going to represent the workbook we're in now. The second variable is going to be called worksheet1. It's going to be as the data type worksheet and that represents the sheet we're on now. We're going to have a variable called path, and that is going to be as the data type string. That is going to represent the path that is stored in cell I3. We're also going to have a variable called file name, which will be a combination of our path variable and also the values in cell H3 and G3 that will produce our total and complete file name which is a date followed by whichever division is selected here so I am going to copy our first two object variables because we're gonna have a workbook 2 and a worksheet 2 which represents the new file that the data gets copied to. So we're going to begin by setting our workbook one. It's an object variable, so it needs to begin with the keyword set. That is going to be equal to this workbook, the workbook we're in now. We're going to set our worksheet one, which is going to be equal to our workbook variable and worksheets and the name of the sheet we're on now is called month month to date sales 
our path variable is going to be equal to our worksheet variable and then range single cell range i3 that's the cell that holds our path string so our file name is going to be a combination of our path variable and also these two cells here one thing I want to point out is if you look at our path variable it ends with the east folder so before we tack on our file date and division name to the end of our file name path string we need to add a backslash so I'm going to use the and symbol to join this to a backslash and then another and symbol because we're going to join it to the date value in h3 so we'll reference our worksheet one and then range h3 and we also want to format this in a certain way so we're going to nest this within the format function and the first input is what we want to format so we already have that that's our cell reference and then the second input is how we want it formatted which we want four digit year two digit month and two digit day so now we're going to add the division value in cell g3 so We'll join this to our worksheet one and then range G3. And we probably want to add a space between the date and the division for the file name. So we'll do that. Let me expand this a little bit. And the last thing we're going to add here is the file extension which is dot xlsx so now with our current worksheet one we want to copy the range b through d so we're going to reference our worksheet one and then range b through d and use the copy method at this point we want to set up our workbook 2 and worksheet 2 so we're going to use the keyword set workbook 2 and we're going to set that equal to workbooks and then the add method because we're going to add a brand new workbook we're going to set our worksheet 2 equal to our workbook 2 and then we want the active sheet and with that active sheet on this workbook 2 we want to do two things we want to copy the values only from our source data on worksheet 1 uh, why because worksheet 1 this data here is all formulas and we do not want to paste formulas to that workbook we want to paste just the values secondly after we've pasted the values we want to paste in all of the formatting so that it still looks the same like with the background colors and the date formatting and all of that so since we're doing multiple things we're going to use a with statement reference our worksheet to and then the range will use that same range b through d and the first thing we want to do is paste special and we want to select the second to last option paste values we want to paste special again and this time paste formats so we've done everything we want to do there so we'll end our with statement and now at this point we want to save our workbook too to our file name which includes our path and our other cell values for our file name 
So we're going to reference our workbook two and then use the save as method. And once I hit space, you can see you get some parameters there. First thing we want to define is the file name and that is just going to be equal to our file name variable we created earlier. The second parameter is the file format and we want to set that equal to Excel workbook default for just the standard workbook type. Now the only other thing I want to do is once it's saved I want to close out workbook 2 and another final thing I'd like to do is there could be a scenario where I need to rerun the same date and division file two times maybe I made a correction on the same day or something and in that case I would want to save over an existing file that was already out there with that same name now as you know when you try and do that Excel will give you a warning message asking you if you really want to save over it and we do and this warning message will stop our code from running so what we want to do is temporarily disable that warning message so we're gonna before our save line we're going to use application and then we're looking for something called display alerts we're gonna set that equal to false because the default is true once we've done everything we want to do we'll reference it again and change it back to true so now we're ready to run our code you can see currently in the East folder we have just December 24th files so this file would be December 26th so I'm gonna F8 through this to run each line of code a single line at a time so you can kinda see what's going on here so here's our first action it's to copy the range B through D you can see they get copied and then we're gonna set our new workbook by adding it so a new workbook gets added with this new sheet on this new workbook we want to paste special values and then we want to paste the formatting from our source data I'm gonna come down here and save this file currently it's just book 18 so once we run that line of code you can see the file name is now 2021 1226 East and now we'll close that file out and that is that so I can change this drop down to the next division and the path will adjust here and now I can run this code just from start to finish by just hitting the play button and if we go check our north folder we should see a 1226 file and we do so that is that well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe